nighttime skies above over the home of the Twins, Target Field in downtown Minneapolis. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the Kansas City Royals and the Minnesota Twins. These two should provide some big-time fireworks. First pitch is coming up. Phil Hughes will be on the mound for the series opener. Eric, any thoughts? Well, guys, his batting average against this year is under 250. He's really had his way with the offense. Lorenzo Kane heads for the batter's box, and we are just about Maybe ready for some Kansas evening City. baseball. Center fielder, number six. First pitch of the night is over for strike one as we get started right on time at 7.10 p.m. And E.K., we take a look at the Twins as they begin play here tonight. They come in trying to rebound after a loss that snapped a modest three-game winning streak. And it's been a good start to the homestand for them. They've taken three of the first four, so they've had it going here. No question about that. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind nothing in two. Hughes steps into the windup. 0 oh, 2 pitch on its way. Hot shot on the ground is short. Two is left. Nunez throw on to first in time, one away. A chance now for a look at the Royals starting lineup. Anybody catch your eye, Eric? Well, you know, I'm hoping to see Alex Gordon find his group. He's without a single home run over the last 10 ball games. We look to put an end to that power drought in this one. Gerard Dyson. We'll get his first opportunity now, and as you can see, he enters play with that average up near the 320 mark. Well, right now, he's in the prime of his career, so these are the years you'd really expect to see the best of what a guy's going to have to offer. Very weakly on the ground. And with oh, his speed, forget it. It's an infield single. And if this is almost any other guy in baseball, he's going to be out. But he just gets down that line so fast, and he winds up beating this one out. Kendry's Morales will come forward now as we give you a look at his home and away splits so far this year. First pitch on its way. And he takes a cold strike. 0 and 1. And you know, I think it's going to be important that. When guys get their pitches, they take advantage. There it looked like he was taken all the way, and he may not get another pitch that catches that much of the plate. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Mike Fillmore. And Fillmore usually gets high praise from most people for his command of the zone. He will occasionally give the pitcher just a little extra off the plate if he spots it well, though. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. Runners on first with one down. And this is off the glove of Suzuki as it bounces away. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. And you wonder if sometimes he was just getting a little too preoccupied out there with the speed at first base. And he totally loses focus on the guy at the plate. And now that essentially is going to work like a stolen base. And he's in the scoring position now on the wild pitch. Has to be thinking strikeout here. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Moving under it, Sano makes the play, and there are two gone now. And with that, let's give you a look at how the Twins stack up defensively. It's brought to us by Majestic. Eric, what do we need to know? Yeah, Matty, Trevor Plouffe has really come into his own. 
He's a guy that can play both in the infield and the outfield, but really he thrives at the hot corner. He's got quick reactions, soft hands, just really makes it look easy out there. Eric Hosmer will stand in, one for four with a double in yesterday's ball game. Yeah, that was a good one for him, and he needed it because, as you can see, hey. his batting average on the year ain't pretty. And a high strike there, 0-1. And, and you know, all you have to do is point back to yesterday's ball game. This was part of their downfall, hitting with runners in scoring position. They just couldn't sustain any kind of offense. So this would be a big boost if he could turn the tide a little bit here and come through big. Rip down the first baseline. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Oh, and two count. Here's the pitch. Boy, tough to lay off, but he's glad he did. It's one and two now. Hit hard on the ground a second. There is Dozier. Throw on to Maurer will be in time, and that retires the side. Royals leave one. It's the Royals nothing. Twins coming to bat. This is Major League Baseball on the show. Ian Kennedy gets the call for game one of the series. What's your tank on him, EK? Well, guys, you take a look at that ERA. He has not been good this year. Got to throw a lot better, and hopefully he can start doing that in this one. Eduardo Nunez comes to the plate to lead things off here in the bottom half of the Leading first. Off for the Twins, the shortstop, Eduardo Nunez. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1-0. Eric Karros, we look at the Royals as they enter play here tonight. Fair to say they're not playing their best baseball right now. Losers of five of their last six. Yeah, and this game's not always that hard. You hit the ball, you throw the ball, you catch the ball, but lately they haven't been doing any of the three particularly well. That's going to need to change, and soon. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Oh, and he gripped that one a bit too tightly as it broke down and just about got him. And we'll see him work both sides of the plate with the curveball going forward. Now, maybe not that far in, but he'll move that pitch around. Swing and a liner, but foul. Set to deal on two and two. And a full count now as Kennedy misses there. It's three and two now. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. And for as hot as this guy's been recently, <laughs> this is a no brainer. Take the bat out of his hands any chance you get. First delivery to him on the way. Inside with the fastball, it's 1-0. Sent on the ground out to second. Escobar over to Hosmer, and it's a double play. A chance now from Target Field to take a look at the Twins lineup in this one. What's the key for them to win this series opener, Steve? 
I think you're going to have to try to get on the board early and then don't let your foot off the gas. You've got to keep pressure on this club to not let them back in a ball game. Miguel Sano will come on now, and no sooner did it look like they may have something started than the double play took it all away. And that's especially tough when you figure the part of the lineup they're in. These are the guys you want to have hitting with runners on base. He'll start him with a fastball down and in for a ball, 1 and 0. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. And he misses again, 2-0. Two balls, no strike. Lying toward the gap in left center. A screaming base hit here, his first of the night. Wow, a 2-0 count. And this is a room service fastball. Look where this thing is. Right down the middle. I mean, he can't help but jump all over that. Here's Oswaldo Garcia. Uh, so wait out a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. The numbers coming in, 278 the average. Three homers, nine driven in. Hit hard to the right side. The throw in time, and the side is retired. So nothing in the Minnesota first. We'll head to the second from target field. No score here on the show. Salvador Perez will stand in hoping for a reversal of fortune here as he's seen that average drop precipitously these past 10 ball games. Hughes looks in. Here's the first pitch. Into the seats, 0 and 1. Swing at a high pop-up straight back, though it looks as though he'll have room back there. And he's set down one away. Well, that'll be a frustrating at-bat for him. I mean, he's got to be thinking he let one get away there because you know, that's a pitch he should have been able to handle. Alex Gordon strides forward for the first time, and he's been in a bit of a slump recently. A fastball here as you'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. No score here as we play inning number two. Chop foul right at home plate at strike one. The 2015 regular season was a tough one for Alex Gordon due to those injuries. But he came back strong to contribute in the playoffs to help the Royals bring that World Series championship home. Ball. And now a good slider that doesn't quite catch the zone. It's two and one now. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. That's popped up now towards short right field. Dozier is there for it. He's got it, and there are two down now. 
He gets Got another him. easy pop up there, and this is just eight. turning into a walk in the park. It's been a pretty stress-free outing for him so far. Mike Moustakis is set to stand in, and he'll be looking to change his fortunes in this one. He's seen his numbers take a bit of a hit in recent action. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. And Hughes gets ahead with the fastball for strike one. Swing and a little tapper. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Hughes looking strong that half of the inning. Still nothing, nothing. Brian Dozier will stand in. He drove in one of the two runs in yesterday's ball game. And he's been hitting the ball out of the yard, too. A whole bunch of home runs in his last 10 games, and yesterday was a good one, too. Out in front of it, strike one. Hey. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. This is the thing that's so impressive about this guy. He'll show you that good breaking ball, but then he'll run that fastball up the ladder at 92-93. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Lays off that time and it's one and two. Not a real good 0-2 there. You don't necessarily want it in the zone, but you do want to at least give him something to think about. High in the air and deep to straightaway left. Looking up is Gordon, and this one is gone. A home run. A solo shot here from Brian Dozier. 19th home run for him on the season as the Twins take a 1 0 lead. And about the only silver line into this one from a defensive standpoint is the fact that it came with the bases empty leading off an inning. So you can survive it when this guy's hitting just solo shots. It's when he's doing his damage with two or three guys on base that things can really get out of hand in a hurry. Joe Maurer will dig in for the first time as he'll enter play sixth in the American League in hitting. And I think it's just a little too early to get overly excited about this guy, but we all know he's very capable of keeping this up over the course of the season. Into the windup and the pitch. That's yanked into the stand, strike one. Hey. That's on the inside corner to put him behind here, nothing in two. Inside, as that perhaps will back him off a bit, one and two. Here's the one and two delivery. Swing and a ball line hard towards short. Solid base hit for him, his first of the afternoon. Just amazing what this guy's done with the bat this year. I mean, even when he's in a two strike hole, he still finds a way to come through. Trevor Plouffe will stand in for the first time now. Currently seventh in the American League in hitting. Well, it's still early in this season, but if he keeps this up, he's going to be looking to get paid in the offseason. His contract is up after this year. Here comes the first pitch. Belted high and deep into right center. Kane going back at the track. But he can't get it as it's off the wall.
Well, these guys have one home run already, and this was nearly a second one here. You can see it bang off the wall out there on the fly, and he's going to wind up with a double, but he didn't miss a big fly by much. Eddie Rosario will dig in now, currently ninth in the AL in hitting entering play. And he's in the top five in runs scored, too, so he's a big part of this offense. This is pulled into right. Dyson is there. Let's see if they try it. And he's just going to try to draw an airmailed throw as he heads back to third now with one away in the inning. With a moment now, let's take a look at the defensive alignment for Kansas City. It's brought to us by Majestic. Any thoughts, Eric? Well, guys, out there at first base, Eric Hosmer. He won the 2015 Gold Glove Award, but he's not known just for it being a great defensive player. Runs the base as well, swings the bat, just comes out and grinds every single game. We'll see what he does in this one. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. And you know, if you're going to challenge a guy up in the zone with a fastball, why not do it on the first pitch? A lot of times he's going to be taken anyway, and you just bought yourself a strike that you can now throw anything off of. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Good curveball that time in the low 80s, nothing in two. This is a strikeout pitcher on the mound, so you know he's going after a K right here. Runners are at second and third with one down. Got him. Dropped by the catcher, though. Perez recovers. Throw to the plate. And the runner will be tagged out at the plate. So a costly decision there. Oh, and they're going to catch a huge break here defensively. The ball shoots by him to the backstop. And as a runner, you're thinking, hey, I'm going to make this easy. But you see the carom come right back to the catcher, and they're going to wind up getting the tag out here easy at the plate. Eduardo Nunez gets a shot now with deuces all around. Two on, two out here in inning number two. Looking to minimize the damage here. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. Oh. And with two outs, you want to make sure those guys earn that run. Well, don't let them score on a wild pitch. Here it comes, 1-0. That hole getting a little deeper now. It's 2-0. Boy, he better get it back together here with two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. The 2 0 pitch. Mine to the right side. In there. Base hit, and that ought to get the run in from third. And now time is called here as their pitching coach is going to pay a quick visit to the mound to discuss how they want to attack things here. Danny Santana steps into the box and we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home in the inning so far. Well, this could be a huge inning or maybe the end of the inning. This is a pivotal at bat in one of the turning points of this ball game right here. Hot shot toward third. And this gets on him quickly here and deflects off him. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. Oh, my goodness. This guy is really starting to Go heat back. up now. That's eight right straight field. games with a base hit. Miguel. He's been fun to watch. Miguel Sano stands in. The eighth batter of the inning now with the bases loaded in two away. Yeah, you know, and this could get ugly in a hurry. Or pretty, I guess, depending on which dugout you're sitting in. On the ground to the left side. Moustakis is there. Throw to second for the force out, and the side is retired. 
I have to imagine there's a full moon tonight, judging by this bunch. We're back with more on this Monday night after this. Omar Infante is into the box as we are all set Getting to begin Kansas the third. City, second baseman, Omar Infante. Hughes gets the sign. First pitch on the way. Now a swing and a ground ball, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. The 0 and 1 delivery. Swing and a shot back up the middle. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Not a bad guy to have hitting in your eight spot. And that guy's no slouch up there. He comes through with a solid single here. Alcides Escobar will stand in, and he wasn't much of a factor yesterday as he took an 0 for 4 in the loss. Well, it seems like it's going from bad to worse. He had a bad day yesterday, and he's hitting under 200 in his last 10. Well, that's Here's a slider to start things out. Looked at for ball one. Now a hard liner towards short. But well, this is pulled in by the shortstop. Yeah, that's a good no read right there at first base. Center now this it. plays right in Lorenzo front of him. So even though King. this ball's hit hard, he's got enough time to make it back safely. In now is Lorenzo Kane. Runners going. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Snap throw from the catcher. Runner at first here, one man out. Hit sharply toward the right side. In there, a base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one out single. With some guys, it doesn't matter if it's 0 and 2 or 2 and 0. They take the same approach either way. Well, this right here is one of those guys, and he comes through from being down in the count. Here's Gerard Dyson. Swinging a ball hit softly on the ground. And to score is the runner from third. It's now a two to one ball game. Well, that's one way to get yourself on the scoreboard for the first time. They always say, get that runner home any way you can. Well, this counts. It'll be scored an infield single and an RBI. Here's Kendry's Morales. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. Runners are at first and second with one away. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Hey. 
in for a strike and he jumps ahead one and two now. Now you can't look for a specific pitch. You just got to protect the plate. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Chop foul at the plate and we'll do it again. And now a slider in there for a called third strike and there are two gone now. Well you talk about a big time to come up with a strikeout. Now you still got one more guy to get through here in the inning but now with two outs you can take a step back take a deep breath and know that those runners have to stay put at first and second. So striding in Eric Hosmer as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Breaks is bad as this one's popped up and he'll avoid the fragments out there to make the catch that ends the inning. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. The Twins are in front, two to one. Oswaldo Arcia digs into the box in the Leading bottom of the inning way. number three. Left fielder, Oswaldo Arcia. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And a good fastball from Kennedy as he gets ahead with strike one. Oh, hits sharply as this is pulled into right. But an atom ball right to him for the first down. The second baseman, number two. So with one away, we'll remind you to follow the Twins here on MLB The Show. We'll be here all season long as you get a look there at where we'll be over the course of the next seven days. Into the box now, Brian Dozier. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. Well, that was a fastball that he hit then, so we'll see if they go after him with hard stuff again. Now a ball lifted high in the air towards shallow right center field. Dyson has a long run, but he takes charge for route number two. The batter, first baseman, Joe Mauer. Joe Mauer is the batter. Got a base hit in his first trip. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hit hard, but foul. A two to one score here as we play inning number three. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Swing and a liner. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. Well, he'd had some high stress innings here Up so far. Minnesota. It was looking like he turned a corner and was on his way to a much needed one, two, three, but he's going to have to get in the stretch here after all. Stepping in, Trevor Plouffe. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Boy, he had a great at bat last time up, and he'll look for another pitch he can drive right here. And here's a fastball called for strike one. A lot of pitches up in the zone here early on. And that's not the worst thing in the world at this place, but you've got to pick your spots. Here's the 0 1. Good curveball that time in the low 80s, nothing in two. And you kind of get the sense that he's not really messing around out there too much. There hasn't been a whole lot of setting guys up here in this inning. He's just trying to get himself back into that dugout as fast as he can. A pause and the 0 2. 
Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. One left for Minnesota. They lead it two to one. Leading off the inning, Salvador Perez, Leading as they'll look Kansas to get City. something going here and even this game up. And in a pretty close game so Salvador far, they'd love to Perez. see this guy get on base so they can get a rally started to get back in this thing. Hughes is ready. First pitch on its way. And that oh, one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. Chop foul at the plate, strike one. Ready to deal, here's the 1 1. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline, but a foul ball, 1 and 2 now. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Santana giving chase. Looks it into his glove and there's one gone. And you know he's kind of going through a stretch right now where the ball just isn't jumping off his back. He's got a good pitch to hit right here. Looked like he put a good swing on it but it just didn't go anywhere. Alex Gordon is at the plate now. Flied out in his first at bat. Here's the first pitch to him. And Gordon swings and pulls his pitch down the line in right, but it's back up into the crowd. Foul. Lined hard toward right center, and that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. The third baseman, number eight, Mike Into the box, Mike Mustakis. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. And Matt, with the double play in order, they'll obviously be looking to induce another ground ball out of him right here. And a fastball is in there for strike one. And you know, whenever he's been in trouble on the mound, he's found a way to turn things around. And that's a good job to start this guy with strike one. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Hit to short. To Dozier for one. On to Maurer. It's a double play, and that ends the inning. Nothing doing for the Royals. They still trail it here, 2 to 1. Eddie Rosario is set to lead us off Leading in the up, home half of the twins. fourth inning. And that's in there for strike one. A nope. little bit that's low ball. that time, maybe outside as well. One ball, one strike. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Kane is after it. He makes the play. A fine running catch to get the first out of the inning. This play right here is all about getting a great read and a good angle on the ball when it's hit. Great jump. Runs it down. And that saves extra bases.
Standing in now, Kurt Suzuki. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Hit hard back up the middle and into center field as he's aboard with a one out single. The batter. The shortstop. And, and, and things are continuing to go poorly for him out there. That's now the eighth hit he's given up in just three and a third innings of work. With a line like that, he's not going to be sticking around much longer. Ready now, Eduardo Nunez. He singled his last time up. From the stretch. And that swung on and missed for strike one. Now he's probably lucky he didn't make contact on that one. Lifted in the air out towards left center. After it is Kane. But he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. The batter. Man, this is how you break out of a cold streak. This is his second hit of the ball game, and this one goes for extra bases. And you can see that confidence is slowly starting to come back at the plate. Into the box now, Danny Santana. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low, it's ball one. Fourth inning of a two to one ball game. Now a little pop up off toward the third base side. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Starts to go around here but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. And now he's made most of the hitters inside conscious. And of course, that opens up the outside corner when he has to go there. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. And mm, tough fastball to lay off on one and two, but he did, and it's two and two now. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Gordon is there, and that should be deep enough to score the run. And a relay home. The tag from Perez won't get him safe at the plate. Well, nobody's going to confuse this guy with Miguel Cabrera or Chris Davis, but with the runner on third, he doesn't have to hit the ball out of the ballpark. Just has to get one deep enough out there to deliver that run from third. That's nice going. Miguel Sano steps in, working on a one-for-two game so far. Action in that KC pen now as a right-hander's begun to loosen up. He's set. Here it comes. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. And even though you got a two-run lead, you don't want to be leaving too many guys in scoring position out there. That could come back to bite you later. 0 oh and 1, here it comes. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 oh and 2. It seems like we've seen a lot of guys late on the fastball tonight. Yeah, and he's not throwing all that hard either, but when he throws it off the other pitches, that's where it makes it a little more difficult. Frozen for strike three, and that retires the side. Twins get a run on two hits. We played four full. Twins lead it three to one. Omar Infante heads for the box to start off the fifth in this one. And right here is an important time for them to climb back into this one. They definitely want to even this one up sooner rather than later. And there's the fastball from Hughes. It's nothing in one. 
Well, you get the sense that what they need is one big hit from anybody in the lineup. If they could get one, it could get them right back in this game because right now they just seem out of it. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. Protecting on 0 and 2, so we'll do it again. Shot back up the middle, and that is by him on into center field, so good hitting on 0 and 2 nets him a leadoff single. And you know as a hitter, no you're seeing two. the ball so well when Short you can take a pitch like that Alcides and square it up Escobar. and just hammer it right back up the middle. Here's Alcides Escobar, the shortstop. Here's a high pop-up. Hughes is there for it. Oh, and they botch this one as it drops in the infield. And they will tag him out between first and second. Lorenzo Cain will dig in one for two. He grounded out the first time and followed that with a base hit in his second plate appearance. Drilled on the ground is short. Right to him. The Dozier for one. Back to Maurer, but it's not in time, and they'll settle for just the one out. Well, you could have put the first base bag out in the outfield grass on this play. You're not going to double this guy up. He's too fast. Still a pretty good job of at least getting that lead runner at second base. Gerard Dyson will be the batter. A couple of singles to his credit thus far. Well, two singles isn't necessarily an eye-catching performance, but hey... I'm sure he's feeling just fine about it. Use comes set. Here comes the first pitch. In there at the Hold knees, on, strike one. A runner on first with two away. Runners off for second. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. And he'll be tagged out at second base. Trying to get into scoring position, but instead the inning is over. Royals bats are quiet there. They still trail it here three to one. Oswaldo Arcia will try things again. He's grounded out in lined out in two trips. Yeah, he got solid contact on that line out, but it just didn't work out. In this game, you have to trust your approach. Eventually, it's going to pay off. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Shot toward right center. And a dive, but he comes up empty. And this is big trouble now out in right center. And now another base runner for him to contend with now. As we bring up his line, you can see that's an even 10 hits against him so far. And you have to wonder how much longer they're going to let him stay out there. Brian Dozier. Steps in and perhaps looking to drive another one out of the park just like he did in the second. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. First pitch here misses wide, 1 0. Oh. For Arcia, he picks up his sixth double so far on the year. One oh count, here it is. Tapped out in front of home. Perez scoops it up, throws in time, and that's out number one. Yeah, and you know, that's a nice play back there behind the plate. For a big guy, look how quickly he springs to his feet, gets rid of that mask, and then he finds the ball here to make the throw to first to get his man. Two 
So here's Joe Maurer. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Kane moves over. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. The relay throw. The tag at third, and they got him. A double play. And very quickly here, the side is retired. One hit in the inning, but no one left. Five innings complete. It's the Twins three, and the Royals one. Gerard Dyson will stand in here as he'll get things started for the Royals in their half of the sixth. Well, you know he's been on base twice in this one already, so let's see if he can do it again. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0-1-1. And he misses with it one and one. Not too many strikeouts on the ledger for him so far, but it hasn't really mattered. Yeah, I think ideally you'd like to see him miss a few more bats, but as long as you're keeping guys off balance and you're letting your defense help you, you don't need to strike a ton of guys out to be successful. And this is going to be just foul down the line as that had double written all over it. Now a swing and a ball chopped foul right at home plate. Ready to deliver the one and two. Hit on the ground to short. Nunez on the grass. Throw not in time and he beats it out for his third hit tonight. Well, that's the kind of year it's been for this guy so far. Even when he gets fooled, he still finds a way to get an infield single out of it. Kendry's Morales will step in now, representing the potential tying run. And keep in mind, he is the team leader in home runs, so if anyone's got a shot of getting one out of here, it's him. And he'll start him with a high strike here on the fastball on the outside corner. It's 0 and 1. A high fastball that time in the strike zone and on the outside corner. But that is a dangerous spot to be pitching if you're only throwing in the low 90s. The 0 1 pitch. A shot down the first baseline. He'll go to the bag for one, and it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. You know, that's one that you first just don't see three. that often. Safe at second base, but out at first. Just shows you the speed he has at first base that he was able to beat the throw into second. Runner at second, one away, and standing in, here's the first baseman, Eric Hosmer. Here's the Minnesota skipper making his way out to the mound. And it looks like that's going to be all for Phil Hughes. So as he departs, he'll remain responsible for the man left aboard, but he cannot lose this one. Tommy Malone will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Tommy Malone. He's set and the pitch. Aye. There's a strike at the knees, 0 and 1. Fastball called for strike two. Two good pitches so far, both of them right at the knees. 
And you got to start thinking center of the diamond here. Shorten up a little bit. You've got to put something in play. We're in the sixth inning here in a three to one ball game. And now he'll bluff a move back to second base just to make sure the runner wasn't getting any ideas out there. And a half hearted attempt that time but they'll say he broke the plane and that's out number two. Well that's all about playing the percentages there. They bring the left hander out of the bullpen to get the better matchup and he obliges with the big strikeout. Here's the catcher Salvador Perez. Tap foul at home plate. One run, seven hits, and no errors so far for the Royals. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Can't quite get around in time to keep it fair, and it remains 0-2. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And nope, this one falls, so he'll get another shot. The 0 2 home. Oh. Too low with a fastball there. One ball, two strikes. You can see where they want to go to try and get him out. A lot of pitches in on the hands in this sequence. They don't want him to be able to extend. Two out here and a runner at second. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Good swing on a tough pitch and he'll stick around to see another one. Like three called and the inning is over. One left for Kansas City. Score holds it's three to one. Your attention please. Now New pitcher set to take City. over now as the number former number one overall pick Luke, Luke Hochaver, Hochaver gets the nod. Trevor Plouffe will stand in now to lead things off in the Minnesota six. Trevor Blue. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. Sneaks a fastball by him at the letters. It's one and one. Very difficult to get on top of a pitch when it's coming in that high. Darn near impossible when it's coming at you in the high 90s. You just can't get your hands up there fast enough to stay on top. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Can't keep the weight back and he falls behind 1-2. and two. Scorch to third. Mustakis has it. Throw on to first, and one third baseman grounds out to the other, one away. Now batting. Designated hitter, Eddie Rosario. Eddie Rosario will dig in now. He's lined out and flied out in two trips. Been hitting the ball pretty well, though, despite the offer so far. Grounded to the right, fielded by Infante. 
throw gets him two down. The catcher, number eight, Kurt Suzuki. Kurt Suzuki will stand in. A strikeout victim his first time and then a base hit last time around. Too high, 1-0. A high strike there, and it's one and one. High strikes, probably not on the docket for places he wants to be. Yeah, I mean, it's no secret. You've got to keep the ball down against a team like this. If you go up every once in a while with a fastball, you'll be fine. But you're not going to last too long if you make a habit of working up there with your secondary pitches. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. Another multi-hit game for him here tonight. No surprise there as we take a look at the league leaders in hitting. Well, guys, he's one of the best in the league in that department right now. So we'll see if he can stay hot into the dog days of summer and even move up on that list. Having a great year regardless, though. Eduardo Nunez will dig in. He doubled his last time. Well, he got a good pitch to hit up in the zone, and he didn't miss it. He'll be looking for it again right here. Smoked on the ground left side. And another base hit for him as he's gone three for three in this one. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. We'll see Alex Gordon to start things out when we come back. Seventh inning coming up. Twins are out in front, three to one. Welcome back to Target Field here in Minneapolis. Twins on top in this one as we take a look now at our game summary through the first six innings of play. And there is Alex Gordon. He'll lead it off here as we begin inning number seven. Alex Gordon. Swing and a ball chop foul right at home plate. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Chopped in front of home plate. Suzuki is up with it. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Third baseman number eight, Mike Moustakas. One man gone now for KC in the seventh. And standing in, the left-handed hitting third baseman, Mike Moustakas. Hit sharply on the ground. Oh, just a brutal hop, and it goes right by him. Yeah, and plenty of hits here so far, but not a lot to show for it in the run column. Maybe this can help turn Omar that around Infante. as they get a man on here with just one away. Omar Infante will dig in now, and he'll do so representing the tying run. Yeah, and you're not too worried about this guy jumping the yard on you here and tying the ball game. But if he does find a way to get on base, things get a whole lot more interesting. Fastball in there for a called strike. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. He's set. Here's the 0-1. That's back toward the mound. This will be a tough turn, however. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the sure out. Yeah, and the only silver lining to this offensively is that you get that guy up to second base, and now he's in scoring position with two outs. But I would doubt seriously that that was his intention. Alcides Escobar will stand in now in what could be a real make-or-break situation. And you think at this point you have to get something out of this inning. The further you get into that bullpen, the tougher it's going to be to claw back from this deficit.
first offering on its way. In there, strike one. The 0-1. Hit hard down the line toward the coaching box. It's a foul ball. Now a swing and he pops it foul behind the plate. And he'll get under it to put it away in foul territory. And that ends the inning. Ladies Royals leave one. And it remains a 3-1 ball game. Chris Young will get the ball now as he'll take over on the mound to start the home seven. Chris Young. Danny Santana steps in, working on a one for two game so far. Center fielder, Danny Santana. Hit well on the ground to first. And he'll take this to the bag of three unassisted for the first out. Now batting. Right fielder, Miguel Sano. Striding into the box, Miguel Sano. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and hopefully he got that out of his system. They really need him to come through right here. Hit the other way out toward right field. Dyson is in his tracks now, and he's got it for out number two. The left fielder, this crowd oohs and ahs every time this guy hits a fly Marcia. ball. But he didn't get all of that one, and it's pretty much a can of corn. Oswaldo Arcia gets another crack right here. He's got a hit in three tries to this point. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. It looked like he was going to try to go the other way with that thing, but a wise idea there to try to hold up. Line toward the alley in left center, and Gordon will make the catch to retire the side. Down go the Twins in order, but they hang on to a 3-1 to one lead. Lorenzo Kane comes to the plate and he'll start us off in the eighth. And you know, guys, I love a guy like this leading off an inning for you. He makes good contact and he can run. Hard hit ball to second. Dozier has it. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. And this guy, of course, looking to bounce back from his previous outing. That was one to forget, I'll tell you. Four runs allowed in his relief appearance. He was hit with the loss, and he'd like to put that one behind him. Settling in now, Gerard Dyson. He's looking to go four for four with a base hit right here. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And he lays off there 1 and 0. One run, eight hits, and no errors so far for the Royals. Up top, it's 2 and 0. Two really close pitches to kick off this at bat. Normally, this guy would be all over him, but he's shown some discipline here with two good takes. From the windup, the 2-0 pitch. Try to bunt his way on base here, but this will roll foul. Yeah. 
Ready to deal. Here's the 2 1. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at 2 and 2. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Chop foul at the plate, and the count holds it two and two. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Now a swing, and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And this is taken in easily, and just like that, two are gone to start the eighth inning. There's a look at our line score showing the homestanding twins on top here in Minneapolis as they look to close this one out. Kendry's Morales will stand in as they're quickly down to their final four outs tonight. And Matt, they'd like nothing more than to ignite a two out rally right here. Maybe scratch at least one across before the ninth. Outfield in the no doubles defense. Now the first pitch. And he gets ahead here with the fastball. Strike one. And here's a ball hit in the air. Maurer onto the grass. Makes the catch. And that'll retire the side. KC down in order. They still trail it here. Three to one. Brian Dozier will start things out here for Minnesota with Joe Maurer on deck to follow. The second baseman, number two, Brian Dozier. Turned on down the line. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. And at this point, I don't think you could expect anything less than a two-hit ball game from this guy. I mean, he's been as hot as anybody lately, and he comes through again here. Joe Maurer comes forward to bat again. He was the victim of a double play last time around. Now a throw to first by Young. And late reactions, and they got him. Well, as quickly as he got on base, it didn't take him too long for him to exit either. That's as good a move as you're going to see right there as he picks him off first. First pitch of the at-bat. Lays off 1-0. Lifted the other way to left center. And there to take it in is Gordon for round number two. Third baseman, number 24, Trevor Plouffe. Trevor Plouffe will step in. A ground out victim his last time. Pitch on the way. High in the air, carrying well out to deep center. Kane going back on it. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Twins are down on four pitches as the lead remains three to one. Downtown St. Paul there, not far from us here at Target Field as we're set to begin the ninth inning in this one. Eric Hosmer will stand in to lead off the yeah, inning. The Middle third of the lineup, four, five, and six as they try to get something going. And this whole lineup's been pretty quiet all game long. Just the one run, that's it. Chop foul right at home plate. Oh. 
Oh, got him a swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. And the victory would be for Phil Hughes if the score holds where it is. Top foul at the plate, and he stays alive, still 0-2. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Well, it's been a long afternoon for this guy. A couple of strikeouts to go along with that over four, but you know there's going to be better days ahead for this guy because he can play. Salvador Perez will stand in, needing to do something here to get on base as they're down to their final two outs. Yeah, and you just can't worry about the score right here. You just got to be able to string together a couple of base runners and take it one pitch at a time, one runner at a time. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. And that's telling of how they've swung the bat. This has just been a punchless offense so far. And this pop-up is pretty indicative of their struggles. Alex Gordon makes his way to the plate, needing to make something happen. They're down to their final out in the ninth inning. Yeah, it's not looking too good for him anymore, but you know what? There's no clock in this sport, and that's for good reason. You've got to fight for all 27 outs. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0-1. Well, that pitch isn't going to light up the radar gun, but it's been effective. Well, it doesn't have to. If you get that good movement and put it in the right spot, it's plenty good enough to do the job. And it's quickly 0 2. Hit pretty well out toward right center field. Santana racing back to the track. And he tracks it down. And this ball game is over. And this will wind up being the kind of save that you used to see back in the 70s. He gave him all he had out of that bullpen, and he winds up finishing this one off himself. This one, definitely a low-scoring affair as we get one last look at our final line score. Not a lot of offense to go around in this one, but what offense we did see came from this man's bat. He's our tops player of the game. Yeah, you see a couple of hits for him in the ball game. This one was tight throughout, but in the end, he really helped lead his guys to this victory. So that just about does it. For EK, Psycho, and the crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, get those smartphones and tablets out and head over to theshownation.com. The Twins are victorious in this one, 3-1. to one. Good night from Minneapolis.